31 Days of Halloween. It's basically a different makeup look for every day of October. I think the first look I did was Cruella de Vil. Cruella. So I did the old cartoon version and I painted my face to look like her face shape and I had the wig and everything. I've done The Other Mother from Coraline. That was another three hour look. Uh, my favorite one has been Dobby. That took me seven Dobby or eight hours, I think. Okay, let's start this. I'm gonna turn myself into a Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things. It is probably a monster from your worst nightmares. It has five, I guess I would call them lips. They come out like this. They're full of teeth and it's just a gray being with no eyes or anything, just a big, huge mouth. Really, I'm pretty sure their main purpose is just to eat people. My whole life I've made short films. I've always been into writing and directing. That's kind of what I want to do. And my favorite genre is horror. So of course you need blood and stuff for that. A couple of years ago, I think it like 2017 maybe, I was making a film and I didn't have anyone do the makeup. So I figured it out and it was a happy accident. It just stuck. I don't have a reference photo. I'm kind of just working by a little bit by memory, but a little bit by, this is how my bones are laid out, so I'm kind of trying to trace in between them. Give the illusion that they're protruding and sunken in more than they actually are. I actually taught myself how to do prosthetics and body painting. YouTube, Google, that, that was it. I didn't go to school. I mean, I was signed up for school and I didn't complete it because I just, I can't sit down and listen to somebody else talk or read a book to learn. I need to work with my hands. That's how I learn. So I just taught myself. In order to make the prosthetic pieces that I do, I need to make this thing called latex paste. You're going to mix it up until you get this thick kind of consistency that you can sculpt with your hands. That's actually how I created the Demi Gorgon mask. Doing makeup has brought my motivation up a lot. Uh, on days, I feel like a zero brings me up to a 10. So October has been great for that. Not that long ago, well, it was probably about a year ago now, I got diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. So I needed to find a way to cope with that since you can't really take medication specifically for that. And makeup has been that outlet. So I sit down and I spend maybe three hours, maybe seven hours painting my face and that whole time I'm just relaxed and I'm calm and my mind's not going 1200 miles a minute. I think about everything. <laughs> Sometimes stupid stuff. Sometimes big revelations about my life. What matters to me, what doesn't matter to me, what I need to cut out of my life, what I can keep into it. I think about everything. <laughs> I'd really like to be on bigger film sets. I make my own short films now, I work on other short films, but I'd like to be on the big screen working the horror films. I, I wanna be the one in charge of everything, creating the monster, designing it, and then bringing it to life and being like, yeah, okay, so this is the design, this is what we're doing, let's start. That's what I'd like to do. I wanna be the boss. <laughs> I think that's it. This is one that I can't wait to take off, but I still have a lot of videos to shoot. Every makeup I do on my social media, I usually, well, at least for October, I post every single day on TikTok. So if you want to go follow me or you want to join a live while I'm painting my face and watch it in real time, you can find me at Geek and Gore on every platform.